Oh my god. Can this sit on the table? Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh. oh all right sorry. everyone exciting Yark. night here um we're gonna start off with uh nay and tay nay and tay their thoughts on the game and then we'll open it up to questions here in person first so go ahead nay or tay um, you, you go ahead all right <laughs> Uh, I think it was overall a good performance from us. Obviously disappointed to give away two goals, uh, especially at the start of the second half. But I think we're really happy with the response for the team. from the team. We're just happy to put on a show for our home crowd. Yeah, I was going to say I completely agree. Um, the crowd brought incredible energy, and that's what helped us get this tie. So, so thank you for everybody that came out. Okay, we want to talk about that uh, first goal, second goal, whichever game you want to choose, which one is your favorite, and uh, let's talk about the fight about this team all together. We uh, are you know, great on the field for not going up, and then some people are being changed as well. Uh, what was that like? Oh, uh, Start off, I think my obviously the favorite goal was the second one. <laughs> um, really? <laughs> really? Um, no, I'm just so incredibly proud of this team. Um, we kept pushing and pushing and never let up, and that's what got us here. So, Chris with her amazing assist, um, couldn't have done it without her, and, and just everybody's energy was just incredible today. I'm not trying to get either of you but with just all the ref stuff going on and coming back to try to equalize, um, just what, like, what was that as far as trying to keep that composure to get, you know, the equalizer even the way? I mean, I just think that we have to keep our composure no matter what. Um, yeah, if the refs are good or bad, it, it really, at the end of the day, doesn't matter. And, and it's all about just us staying focused and staying mentally tough. And, and I think that's what we did, and, and it showed. <laughs> To, uh, you know, obviously stepping up, and maybe uh, talk about going down. Have you been able to fill in those shoes and been able to lead this defense? Uh, what are some things that the coach has been, been showing you? And are you learning a lot from your teammates? Or what's that growth been like? Yeah, I think a lot of people have had to step up all over the field. Like Kaylee Rail, Kristen McNabb have been playing great for us in the back line. So, um, yeah, I think it's been a collective effort. And obviously, Casey leading us, making sure we're focusing on all the little details and just. Uh, I don't know, trying to keep the ball in the net. <laughs> For each, ideally. <laughs> All right, we're going to head over online to Hector to start and then Steph to follow. Hey, congratulations. Great second half comeback for you guys. How much of an advantage do you think it was having played Portland in the, uh, in the Challenge Cup a couple of times and being familiarized with them already? Yes, sir. I didn't hear that. I think uh, it was, okay. Okay. I didn't hear. you played Portland three times. How is it, how does it going into this game being familiar with them playing them so many times in challenge cup? Yeah, I think it definitely helped. Um, just kind of having an understanding of how they like to play and trying to shut down their main threats um, and exploit them where they have weaknesses. So yeah, I think challenge cup was good training for us to go into regular season and play against them now. All right, Steph Yang. Thanks, uh, Steph Young from The Athletic. Taylor, um, obviously tonight was a very classic, you know, aim for the tall player goal, but it does seem like in your time with the Wave, there's been an evolution of, of yourself. Up, at, up to this point in the season, what's your evaluation of yourself, you know, in terms of any growth, you know, in, in terms of movement and understanding the players around you and your role with the team? Yeah, you know, I think this is the first year where I really started to understand the, the concepts and and yeah, just under Casey, Casey has done incredible things with me and, and I'm so grateful to her. And on top of it, I'm playing with the best players, some of the best players in the league. So they're all, they're helping me, Casey's helping me. And I can see my growth from this past two years in the league now. So, so yeah, I owe it all to the team. Thank you. All right, final call for questions. In person, anyone? Uh, questions. Yep. Go ahead first and then Samantha. No, I mean, I know with just your first year in the league, there's a lot to like soak in. Um, and just with your teammates and kind of the things that you've been going through as far as you've been just away games, kind of what have you been taking away from just the progress so far? I mean, the way of containing the ball, so does that like for you? I mean, I think we've learned every game is a battle, home or away, and just making sure we can get any point in any game we can has been a big takeaway for us to stay at the top of the standing. So, yeah, I just think preparing for every game and making sure we, we're we ready to um, take on any opponent. Mm -hmm. Tell me how special is tonight for you guys, you know, obviously playing as well as you have. 
it's incredible. Um, and I think us showing all of our hard work and, and dedication, all the hard work we put in through this whole season and it and showed today. And I'm just really, I can't say it enough. I'm so proud of this team and how we came back and fought. All right, thanks everyone. We're gonna let these um, two. Get... <laughs> oh, <laughs> she said no. Nope. No, sorry. No, <laughs> no, you're done. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it makes it even more special when we're playing for such an amazing cause, and I think it's great that we can use our platform to kind of promote things like this. And it was cool to have everyone in the fa in the crowd waving their towels and just rallying behind us. Oh so God, it was a great so atmosphere, awesome. and uh, yeah. Sure oh, good. Sorry, guys. I'll start again. I was on mute. <laughs> One job. Um, I was just saying on reflection, obviously, being 2-0 down, you have to be really satisfied with a point. But I said in the first half, I thought we dominated the game, dominated chances. We give away a penalty, we go 1-0 down. Then we come out and concede so early in the second half. That was a bit of a sucker punch. But I thought we played arguably some of the best football we've played. I thought we created lots and lots of chances. Um, and on a different day, we could have took all three points. Uh, but listen, Portland are an excellent team. So to come here and perform like we did, I'm really, really proud of this team and its growth and where it's going. Technically speaking, what went right today in this game? Obviously, there are some calls that might have not uh, been favorable. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, from every angle, it's a goal. When I'm told by the assistant, it's not gone over the line. I think we need to uh, have a little look at that. But if we, I make mistakes, they make mistakes. So we can't rely on calls on like, like that to win a game. Uh, we didn't get a lot of decisions tonight, though, having said that. Um, tactically, I thought the players were outstanding. I thought our compactness out of possession, the way we played in possession, we moved the ball over short areas and got in behind when we needed to, created loads of problems for them. So on a two-day turnaround, considering we just played at the weekend, I have to be so pleased with the coachability of the players and the execution of the game plan. Um, Casey, you know, and I talked about just how every game is a battle. And yeah. so just with that second half, how would you just describe what was that like as far as, you know, coming back and equalizing there? Well, I'm going to go grey very early, I think, based on these these games. But 2 nil down, like we could have sat down. We could have laid down and we could have given up. But I knew that we were creating. We were getting in some really good areas. We were creating chances. I thought their goalkeeper was outstanding tonight. Um, and... So to concede that early after the second half, I thought we showed real character. We used the ball really well. We got down the sides of them. We got in the box. And we've got players week in, week out that can come on and change the game. And I thought those players did that again tonight. I know it's you on Sunday, obviously, the rain are um, tough competitor. I know there's that whole uh, cooler competition going on there. Um, just what is your kind of approach, you know, obviously wanting a win there? Yeah, listen, Rain are a really good side. They've obviously strengthened with Kim Little coming into their team. I know Kim very well, having played with her and against her. Um, she strengthens them. We've had a midweek game, they haven't, so they've had a lot more prep time than us, but I don't see that as a reason not to come out here and perform like we did today. You know, we might have to change things up a little bit in terms of personnel, having played a lot of minutes in, in you know, four or five days, and travel. You know, let's not forget we had to travel back from Kansas. But we're at home, we've got incredible fans. You know, we want to come here and we want to put on another show and, and try and take as many points as we can. How rewarding is it seeing someone like Taylor come through in such a big clutch moment like that to get one and then equalize the match that late in the second half? Yeah, listen, Taylor's just been called up for the national team for a reason, you know, because she's performing well. I think in 18 weeks, the progress she's made is credit to her. You know, she works extremely hard. She's coachable. She's taken on all the information she can and she's worthy of, uh, you know, that... that that call up and she was outstanding tonight and people just think she's in there for a height look at her feet look at how she used the feet how she used the ball and and dictated the game so really pleased with her performance but overall i thought it was a a massive team effort any update on abby doll tempered all by chance yeah well she started running um today she ran for the first time so it's all about pain tolerance when you've you've broken a rib um, so hopefully you know it won't be long until she's back into non-contact and then back into training and Hopefully during that international break, she can get some consistency in minutes. Yeah, again, like I think people forget that Bell's a, a rookie coming in here and has played, you know, a lot of minutes for us. So she come on, of course, she's very disciplined. I think Bell. 
Phil's game understanding is very good and their partnership has been good and it gives us flexibility to then, you know, use McNabb at left back and, and I felt we, we kind of needed that time. Did you get her? Go ahead. We're, listen, we're a different team at home and it's because of all these thousands of people that get behind the players. They give us the extra energy, the extra motivation. They're unbelievable. Like, it's like a cauldron in here and we love playing here. We love it because of our home fans. All right, we'll go Hector, then Steph. Hey, Coach, great second half performance. Uh, you guys played Portland in the Challenge Cup a couple of times. How much of an advantage was it for you guys to have not played them before for today? So I can't hear a thing you're saying because people are shouting for Alex Morgan. So Please repeat it, speak Hector. Up a little bit. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, what, uh, you played Portland twice in the Challenge Cup. How much of an advantage was that, uh, that for today? Yeah, it's always an advantage. And I think not just because we played Portland, but because the level of opposition. You know, we came against different challenges, different intensities. They Had we not have faced that in the Challenge Cup, we would be facing it in the league. So that was vital for us. They're a good team. Rianne's a fantastic coach. You know, they've got players that can really hurt you. I think Sophia Smith is one of the best out there. Um, so, you know, to, to come away here and perform like we did in the manner that we did and, you know, probably disappointed to come away with a point in the end, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. Steph and then Tom. Uh, thanks. Uh, hey, coach. I just wanted to ask you about Amira Ali. She seemed like like a 1v1 machine tonight. She really yeah. faced up some players. Her timing seemed really impeccable, at least, you know, in, the, in those challenges. What was your evaluation of her performance tonight? Game changer. That's why we call them that. You know, she's come on and and her ability to turn in tight situations is something I've not really seen. I wouldn't want to be playing up against her. And if we can get her fitter, um, she can play more minutes for us and potentially start games. Um, she's obviously coming out the, the back of an illness and stuff like that. It's taken longer than we would have anticipated and liked, but she's working really hard on that. And she comes on today and I thought she was unplayable. You know, we just need to get her and the ball in the box as many times as possible in future games. Thank you. Thanks. Tom? Yes, Coach, Did uh, when did you find out Taylor Korniak is going to the national team and how's that going to play out? That's not public knowledge yet, so I just announced that. It's on, she's in the roster okay. for a uh, camp pool. Okay. Yeah, camp pool, that's, yeah, that's the same thing. Um, we found out, obviously Taylor found out, we found out today. Um, you know, and that can be daunting for a young player to go into an environment like that. But I just said to her, what an incredible opportunity and credit to her performances and what she's done. So it was amazing that she's had that news, you know, and now she comes into a game like tonight and performs the way she did. Extremely proud of her as a young woman um, and what she's doing and what she's achieving. Um, and extremely proud of her as a player, but she doesn't get the goals unless everybody puts the performance in. So yeah, it's huge credit to this group really to come away and put on a, a performance like that. So you, she'll be leaving the team this month or? We don't know yet. We know she's been called into the camp roster. We don't know exactly when that's going to be shortened down and if she's going to go, but even to be in that camp roster is a huge achievement for Taylor. So I know it's a dream of hers as it is every young American soccer player's dream. Um, so to, to have that news is, is good. Obviously, if she does get selected, it's a, it's a loss to us, but that's why we've got a roster and, and somebody else gets a window of opportunity when, when they're away. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. All right, we're going to wrap up there. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, <Paul>. <laughs>